The enigma of ancient metal clamps found on megaliths, temples, and other prehistoric monuments across the world remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of all time. These small metal clamps, often referred to as stone fasteners or stone connectors, have been discovered in various locations such as ancient Egypt, pre-Columbian Peru, and Cambodia. Despite these countries being separated by vast distances, the purpose of these clamps and how this technology spread to different regions thousands of years ago is still a subject of speculation and debate among researchers. One of the primary questions surrounding these metal clamps is their function in holding together large stone blocks. The megalithic structures on which these clamps have been found often consist of massive stone blocks, weighing several tons each. It is puzzling how ancient civilizations without modern machinery were able to lift and position these colossal stones with such precision. The metal clamps, with their intricate designs and imprints, reveal that they were specifically crafted to join these massive stone blocks. The clamps were fitted into carefully carved grooves in the stones, known as T-grooves, and secured the blocks together, ensuring stability and structural integrity. Various theories have been proposed regarding the purpose of these clamps. Some researchers suggest that they served ceremonial or symbolic purposes. They speculate that the clamps were meant to signify the union of different stones, representing the unity and strength of the structure or the society that built it. This theory aligns with the importance placed on symbolism and spiritual beliefs in many ancient cultures. On the other hand, another prevailing theory proposes that the metal clamps were primarily functional and used to hold the stone blocks together as they hardened into place. In this view, the clamps would have played a crucial role in the construction process, ensuring that the stones remained in their intended positions until the mortar or other binding materials set and provided sufficient stability. This theory suggests that the clamps were temporary supports that were later removed or replaced with more permanent fixtures. The widespread occurrence of these metal clamps across different continents and ancient civilizations raises another intriguing question. How did this knowledge of stone fastening technology spread across such vast distances? It is unlikely that this was a result of independent invention in each region. Some researchers propose the possibility of ancient maritime or overland trade networks that facilitated the exchange of ideas, techniques, and materials. These networks could have allowed for the transmission of knowledge and skills, including the use of metal clamps, among ancient civilizations. Another possibility is that a select group of skilled craftspeople or architects traveled between these regions, imparting their knowledge to the local communities. These individuals may have been highly sought after for their expertise in stone construction and were commissioned to work on various monumental projects around the world. This would explain the presence of similar stone fastening techniques in geographically distant locations. Unfortunately, the scarcity of surviving metal clamps adds to the challenge of unraveling their mysteries. Many of these clamps were removed or destroyed by invading armies or colonial powers who believed they were made of valuable metals such as gold. Some historical records mention that these clamps may have been adorned with silver and gold, further increasing their desirability as plunder. In conclusion, the ancient metal clamps found on megaliths, temples, and prehistoric monuments remain a fascinating enigma. Their purpose in holding together massive stone blocks and their spread across different continents and civilizations thousands of years ago continue to intrigue researchers. Whether they served functional or ceremonial roles, and how their knowledge and usage were transmitted, are questions that still await definitive answers. Further archaeological discoveries, interdisciplinary research, and advancements in analytical techniques may provide future insights into this enduring mystery of ancient engineering.